Hello, this is Danny DeSantis from Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Today, we're going to be doing another edition of Figure Forge, featuring the Warhammer 40k Necron Triarch Praetorians. We're going to assemble both versions of them in this setting, so we can get those out of the way, so we can start playing with our guys and get to it. So, here's our box. Now to our models. Now, I've already taken them all out and separated them. Cleaned them, done all the normal stuff, so you don't have to watch me do the boring things. This one would be the Void Blade and the Particle Caster. Now, when you take yours out and you set them apart, they're going to tell you to take the legs and find your. Oh, sorry, these guys, it's a tailpiece. So you'll find your legs and your tailpiece. Each one are specific, so make sure when you do it, you know which one goes to which model. This one will be number B, which means I got legs 04 and tailpiece 06. So, we're going to put those together real quick. Clumsily enough. You know, like usual, it's a Necron, so. See how much more I can glue myself to it. And there would be our first part, our legs. Next, if you're doing the Void Blade in the Particle Caster, any arms are usable. So, the arms I picked are, are set G, I believe means I can't use those if I'm going to make the other version of him with the Rod of Conveyance. But all arms are usable when doing the Void Blade in the Particle Caster. When we go to put the model together himself, we'll have his back piece and his neck piece. Those are two that you've got to make sure you do in the right order. If you try and put the chest together like I normally do, you're going to kick yourself trying to get his neck in there. So, little dab on the back of the neck. Put the neck piece in, there are slots facing in the back of the chest piece. Which is why you got to make sure you put this one on first. Now that you've got that on, we can put our chest piece on. Now we've got our completed torso. Next, we've got our spinal column and our rear neck guard. So, take our neck guard, we'll put that on the back, just a drop of glue on each side of it, there we go, almost gives him a rib cage on his back. Next, we've got the spinal column. You'll have a flat spot, which goes on the bottom. So again, nothing too complicated. Grab our headpiece. And go for a drop of glue on the neck. There we go. This guy looks like uh, he needs a bigger neck. Shoulders kind of coming up around his head. But, hey, what can you do? Let's move on to the legs and the chest connection.
It's in there, but... Take a second or two to stay, or we're going to try and speed it up. Alright. Our legs are on. Our head's back off, because I didn't give it time to dry. So we'll slap that back in. Maybe. And same problem with the back piece, not enough time to dry. Let's put that back on. Actually snaps in pretty good, as long as you move it back and forth to where it needs to be. Now, like I said earlier with the arms, doesn't matter which arm you use, because all the arms come with no hands, and all the weapons have the hands on them. So grab any which one you want, glue it up, and good to go. It's one arm. Two arms. Move on to our particle caster for his right hand. So we'll do a drop of glue on his wrist. Smack on the hand. Nice wrist mounted blaster on that side. The other side would be our void blade, which almost looks like a small shield for how big it is. This would be one down and I've got one to go real quick. That would be our tree arc with void blade and particle caster. Next. We're going to move on to another tree arc. This time we're going to make the rod of conveyance. Well, once again, we've got the legs with the tailpiece. So, and as the instructions say, you got to make sure you keep them together. All the legs and tailpieces seem to be molded to fit specifically, so this time it's legs 01, tailpiece 03. Guy's got more of a walk with his tail. We'll go to that back piece again. Make sure we glue in our neck first. Make it sit in there nice and tight. Grab our chest. Nothing so bad. Rear cage.
After doing the last one, someone someone want to pay a little more attention. We're going to put the head on first. Once you put that rear spinal cord on, it's a little bit tight in there. Got our head on, gave him a little bit more of an upward twist on him. This time his chin's out from behind his chest plate. Now we'll do our glue down the spinal cord. And snap in our spinal cord. So, let that sit, go on to our rod of conveyance. Now, you're going to want to be careful when you take this out of the packaging, because the two fins that are attached, I didn't cut it all the way off cleanly, and almost broke one of the fins off. So, make sure you use a sharp blade, or hold it nice and tight when you're doing it. But we'll take the head of our rod, and attach it to the shaft, Rod? Maybe. And we'll cheat and pay the price for it that time. I may not put my blood and tears in these things, but I put enough skin into them. Okay. Back to the legs and the torso. Then one of those ones that takes forever to dry. So there we go. Now comes the fun part. Two arms with a two-handed weapon all at the same time. So I'm going to go with picking an arm. Which will be our left one. I glue in at the staff and see if this way is going to work any better. With the left arm to the staff, just glue the right arm into the socket. Gonna let that one dry naturally. To see if it gives us enough time to maneuver his other arm and that staff where we need it. Twist it a little bit. Hmm.
I used to think the old God Slayers were a pain to do. All those connection points at once. Alright. I think we finally played with it enough. We got it close. That's right wrist, left wrist, right arm, and let's get the left arm in there. But, there we go. Gives us two of our brand new Necron models. Gives us our Triarch with Rod of Conveyance. Gives us our Triarch with Void Blade and Particle Caster. And it's one layout we can do for this box set. The other layout will be the Lich Guard, which I'll get to here in a little bit. This is Danny DeSantis from Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Thank you for joining us in this version of Figure Forge. And come back, watch me see what else I can make with this box.